Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Ron Kube of St. Albert never thought twice about energy use in his home until he read an article about a neighbor who installed a solar system. So I had seen an article in the St. Albert Gazette um, by Kevin Ma, and that got me really excited. And I went over to his house and I took a look at his solar panels and I said, wow, this is really cool. I need to learn more about this. The first question a solar installer asks you is, how much energy do you use? Ron had no idea. So he gathered up his utility bills and added them up. And what I learned right off the bat, uh, David, was that the average uh, Alberta household uses about 7,200 kilowatt hours of power in a year. And I was curious to know what, what we were using. So I grabbed my electricity bills and I found out that we were using well over 12,000 kilowatt hours a year. So the natural question to me was like, where are all those electrons going? Ron was stunned. Being a professor and a fan of spreadsheets, he bought some plug meters and started measuring electricity use of everything in his house. The energy detective was born. And uh, what was really surprising was that uh, we were using uh, a lot of power for lighting. It was you know, well over 34% of our monthly power bill was just going to lighting. Ron changed his light bulbs to LEDs, unplugged a beer fridge, put electronics on power bars, and presto, he had slashed his electricity use. Then he installed his coveted nine kilowatt solar system, enough to provide all of his electricity needs. The thing is, Ron didn't stop there. He found even more ways to conserve electricity. In fact, uh, at the end of all of that energy efficiency, we went from about 1,000 kilowatt hours a month to around 430, um, which is about 5,200 kilowatt hours a year, which means that we started to overproduce electricity um, by about uh, 3,500 kilowatt hours a year. This is pretty exciting for a solar owner, but Ron found he could only get $300 for exporting 3,500 kilowatt hours onto the grid. The other way of using that power was to power an electric vehicle. Uh, and so we bought a 2018 Nissan Leaf. Uh, my wife can drive that over 22,000 kilometers uh, a year. And in a year, she would save $2,500 in gasoline savings alone. Yes, you heard right. Instead of exporting his excess solar electricity to the grid, Ron and his wife, Carol, bought a Nissan Leaf electric vehicle, and they can drive 22,000 kilometers on his excess solar power. They save $5,000 in fuel costs in two years. On paper, this also dramatically reduces the payback time for Ron and Carol's solar system. Uh, we've now had the system for three years, um, and so the payback for, uh, you know, for the system in the white paper was a five-year payback. However, that was assuming that you're driving around 22,000 kilometers a year, um, which we did in the first two years. So Ron and Carol may not be using much solar power for driving their car thanks to COVID-19, but on the other hand, they're also not spending that money on gas either. Ron's journey confirms solar has provided great value for them. But the really big benefits have come from combining energy efficiency and reducing their energy use by 50% with installing solar, and finally, by purchasing a vehicle that runs on solar power. Get all the details in our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. You go with the plug meters. Uh, you can buy one of these things and you can plug them in. And then you plug your appliance in and it tells you how much power is using.